Here we, I don't know what I'm gonna say, so give me a second. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Okay. I just, creative has to come to you. Okay, Musa. Here we go. Hi, welcome to Chili's. You guys have heard a lot that I actually can't cook, but I'm here to prove you wrong today. With me, I have my friend David. He's going to help me show you that cooking ain't no thing. I mean, all right. So, okay, today we are making some vegetable, root vegetable roasty. But basically, you know, it's colder weather out, it's getting a little chilly, you know, you want something hearty, but you know, you gotta keep the figure. You know, ain't nobody trying to be Big Booty Judy out here, so. I mean, I'm not, I'm already like way far off, so. You know, but, but you know what I mean. We're trying to keep it in, in shape, in tone, you know what I'm saying. So yes. basically we've got kind of a base that we're gonna make with the root vegetables over here. Yep. And then I know your biggest issue, which is most people who are trying to stay healthy, the biggest issue is stuff gets boring, right? You don't wanna yes. eat the same thing over and over again. So ideally what we're trying to build is something that can be used as the base and have two chicken options and maybe, just maybe even like a lunch option down the line. So that's the goal. We'll see what we can do in uh, the time we got. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show him the ropes really quick and then oh, yeah, okay. we'll just whip this thing up. So. True, true. First thing you wanna do, kids, is wash your hands. A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse me. The, the first step, right, is getting the, you know, skins off the sweet potatoes, right? So we yes. can kind of just, you know, take that. Okay. Slowly but surely. Mm-hmm, take Cause that, time. you know, you're, you're walking me through this. Yeah, come on now. So I'm gonna let you handle that one. You got two here. So we got our root vegetable ingredients. Basically you get Let me take my time now. one small medium sized potato. Sid's got two. I got greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. I don't know, what'd you say? These are small, small sweet potatoes. Got an onion, full onion, two carrots. And the start of it, we're just getting all the skin off the potato. You can keep on, you gotta thoroughly scrub it. Potatoes grow on the ground. A lot of dirt, a lot of grossness, especially with COVID. Definitely make sure you clean potato pretty well beforehand. And then, eventually. Not doing good. I got this, I got this. No, it's not working. All right, and on this end, we got a basic box grater. I think box graters work the best. You got multiple sides. We're gonna use the bigger side. Essentially, what we're creating is like a veggie hash. So, I'm gonna start grating this. Get it all into the bowl. Everything's gonna get to know each other, if you will, in this bowl. It's like America, the melting pot. Yeah, okay. I like that, it's poetic. All right, so the potatoes are shredded. Up next, we're gonna shred some onion. Got some sweet potato that was expertly uh, <laughs> Control by Sid. She's working on the carrots now. Everything is gonna go into this bowl. That's the end game there. So we're gonna work on that. Mama never let me use this. Oh, I'm actually crying. Getting a little emotional here. It's hard work out here, man. It's cold in these streets. Wait, hold up. Walking in the rain with my Tim's on. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, my eyes really burn. But yeah, you good? You gonna make it? No, you know what this is? Can really you see this? How many 12. fingers? What? People only have ten fingers. Okay. So we got some rosemary. Oh, hit that. Thirteen nine fifty. Oh, yeah. Hold on, it smells a little bit like Christmas. All right, we got a knife, right? The easiest way to cut fresh herbs, and why we do fresh herbs, because, 
you know, add some flavor without adding a lot of calories, a lot of salt, all that. So you just start from a point, mm -hmm. right? And just make a movement that's consistent. I don't even pick my knife off the cutting board. Mm -hmm. That's what I did, right? Then I we'll look like that it. girl when she's doing the calculations in her head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna let you finish the rest. Okay, I got this. And we have here, we're gonna add a few more things with the rosemary. We got a little cassava flour. It's good, gluten-free for anybody trying to, you know, reduce grains, all that. And sunflower oil. Gonna mix all that with that hey, hey, and the rosemary. Hey, look at that. Uh, you gotta, you gotta do it to a beat. Okay, yep. You could just dump it all. Very good. It's all going the same place, right? Oh, see that's why. Without touching that, it's a little hot. Just make like an even layer, exactly. Like you're making brownies. I know how to do that. Okay, I figured. Good, even it all out. That corner. Is what I would tell you if you were actually doing it. Right, this is your instructions for Obviously. me. Obviously. But of course we coordinated this ahead of time. Per your instructions, this is going into the oven. Yep. You know. I think he's doing a great job. You know, I'm really just here for supervision to make sure that he doesn't do anything that he's not supposed to and just make sure he doesn't burn my house down. So, um, he's doing really great. I think we're gonna just see how the progression goes and uh, rate him at the end, so. Very proud of him. I mean, I appreciate the vote of confidence. These should be your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, t I'm letting you. She, you know, she's. I'm extending the. Lead. She's sensei right now. Are really burning. No joke. So now I would tell you to move on to chicken. Yep. Okay. Cool. So we want to get something, you know, pasture raised, slow grown, something that sounds like it grew up better than I did. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Man. Good chicken breast right here. And we're going two ways, okay? First one, a little bit of mustard. I mean, that's what you would tell me, right? Mustard? No. Mustard? Okay. We're gonna try that. Get a little bit of thyme. Yeah. Okay. Because time is money, and money is time. It's time to make some money. A little bit of olive oil. Cut up a little bit of lemon. Get that in there. No? Try to get that seed out, it's all right. Now I would tell you to paint the chicken. That's not what it is. Is that not what it is? It's like painting, all right, fair enough. Basting, painting, you know. All right, so I'm gonna let you handle this. Yep. Kind of do like, yeah, you're painting, even coats. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta tell me twice. I know if what that means. If one's not enough, we go for two. Yep. We're in hour 12. We're, we're working. Supposed to be in here. It's about that last hundred meters of the 400 hurdles, and this we got a couple hurdles left. But you know, that last 40 meters is just home. Home stretch. and we can divide it. I'm gonna let you do it. Do like like big brownie cuts, like when your mom tells you to cut the brownies, but you want like a really big portion, you know what I'm saying? But how many? 
numbers person. I'm a numbers person. I think I like an even six. I'm legally blind. Thanks, you got it. a piece like, like a brownie, like a piece of cake. Is it gonna stay together? It should. If I did it right, I don't think I can do this. You got it, you got it. If it falls apart, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. It looks good so far. And lift. It's okay, I mean, it's like a hat. It'll come, all right, all right, it's cute. I like it. So this one, we're gonna do the lemon chicken breast, right? Mm -hmm. Put that on top. Then you even actually get a little bit more mustard. Right? Swirl that uh, around the side for some dipping action. Boom, we plated one. But, but, we got options. I forgot to tell him this one step, and that's my fault, which is you wanna put this stuff on that thing, and. <laughs> the stuff on the, which is the technical terms for both of these. Yeah, so. Stuff and thing. He's helping me fix my mistakes. That's my fault. I appreciate you owning that. I mean, that's, that's big of you. Well, they say athletes don't really do that, but you're pretty humble, I appreciate that. Get a little bit of this chicken, separate chicken breast. We got that cumin, that cinnamon, that cayenne. It's a little dark, but you know, we like it. That's just the spices getting to know each other. Do an egg, and then you're gonna pull out this avocado with a spoon and put that on the side. An avocado. It's avocado. Thanks. 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 Spoon fat, you know. Okay. No. Let's spread it out. Yeah, maybe the opposite way. Oh no, the plate's messy. There you go. Perfect. So look, three bowls, one base, one dream, right? We got dinners, could be lunches, different flavors. This can be leftover lunch. Got some avocado, healthy fat. You know what, it needs a little hit, a little bit extra. Let's do this, let's do that. A little bit of Parmesan. Hit every little piece, right? It's comfort food, we're good. Boom. That's it. We're done. Out. Wait, what about the broccoli? Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> that, a little bit of that. Throw that right, nestle him in there. Tuck him in, he's going to sleep. Get a little bit. This one uh, got a little lonely, so we'll give him a brother. And we're done. We're done. Magic in the kitchen. The teacher, the student. So it's Sydney Ray and David Johnson. We're just here to uh, inspire you with some meals that you can make at home. You know. Um, he can do it. Anybody you can, can do, do it. it. Shoot. So um, yeah, we're gonna eat now.